Okay, here we go. Mark Lewis Wagner and Drawing on Earth and Art Teaching in the World of a Virus. So blessings to everybody. And um, what we're going to do today is uh, a less, the lesson is on three-dimensional space. So we're actually jumping right into some super complicated stuff. And so... Um, three-dimensional space so here is a two-dimensional plane and <laughs> because this camera is backwards I have to go back and forth to be like hey wait a minute where is that line um, yeah Ooh, okay great and it's it's crooked but you'll figure it out so if I can see this plane that's two dimensions that means that I can't see any other of the sides because they're being hidden. They're hiding. They're hiding behind this. If I go here, if I move this above my eye level, you can see that line underneath it. I can see underneath it. If I come down in the middle, my line's still crooked, is that I now I can see the top, right? I can see two planes. Now if I go, so if you understand that, that's awesome. So right in the middle is this invisible horizon line. And the horizon line is right up against my eyes. My horizon line is unique to where I'm sitting or where I'm standing at any given moment. It's my van it's my horizon line. It goes out this way. So if I would put it would be right here, right? Um, and so if I go to one side, I can see this side. And then if I go to this side, I can see that side. So if you understand what I just did, if you could figure out what I just did, then you can understand three dimensional space. And what I just did applies to everything in the known universe. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, once you start doing this, it just gets really complicated. So we're, we're not in this world yet. We're going to move into two-point perspective and, and how to put values on a sphere to make something look dimensional. Okay, so that was one. And the next one, right, is our sphere. And it's got that center line again. Imagine it's the center line from the top of your head down to your feet, right, your center line. Or imagine it's the center line, like in the middle of a painting, right down the middle. And so, or you're looking at a sphere. So I've got some, I, I've got slides that I'm going to talk about with this. But the idea is watch that center line, right? See how it's, it's a vertical line? So when I move it this way, it starts to curve. See how it curves? See how there's this curve and it's, it's here. See that curve? right if it comes back to the middle then it's a centered line right down the middle and then when it goes on this side of your drawing or your picture or your photograph it curves again so that's also how the known universe works we could also look at it like this so if we go above it will curve up <laughs> if we go below my eye <laughs> It curves, it has a different curve. So I will talk about that with some pictures coming up. So what you're gonna need is um, a sketchbook, uh, paper, pencils, um, a ruler, um, and something to make a circle with. Like I just use a, a piece of tape. I don't have it here, like a, 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 a piece of blue tape. One of those, um, so I can lay it down because I wanna wanted draw a whole circle. Okay, here we go.